The network of trade routes, known as the Silk Road, contributed to the exchange of goods and cultural interactions between the peoples of different countries for more than 1,500 years. The Silk Road was established during China's Han Dynasty, which opened trade with the West in the year 130 BC and lasted until the year 1453 CE. While the term Silk Road is newly coined, it derives from the lucrative silk trade between China and other countries. The Han Dynasty had spread trade routes as far as Central Asia, where present-day Uzbekistan, with its famous cities of Bukhara and Samarkand, formed the epicenter of the first global trade route. The Silk Road later passed through China, the Goguryeo Kingdom of Korea, Japan, India, Persia, Europe, Africa, and Arabia establishing long-distance political and economic relations between civilizations. China was the first country to breed silkworms and manufacture silk, keeping these production methods shielded as a national secret. Chinese silk was extensively sought after in the markets of ancient Rome, Egypt, and Greece, becoming a very valuable luxury item. Curiously, the ancient Greek word for China is Ceres, which literally means the land of silk. As well as valuable clothing and fabrics made of silk, many other goods were carried and sold on the Silk Road, such as horses, camels, animal skins, exotic fruits, porcelain items, and a plethora of other merchandise. Paper was invented in China during the 3rd century BCE. Its use spread along the Silk Road, first reaching Samarkand around 700 BCE. Historians believe that gunpowder was eventually exported along the Silk Road to Europe, where it was further refined for use in cannon in England, France, and elsewhere by the 1300s. The Byzantine Greek historian Procopius asserted that two Christian monks eventually figured out the way silk was made. From that revelation, monks were sent by the Byzantine Emperor Justinian as spies on the Silk Road from Constantinople to China to steal the silkworm's eggs. This resulted in silk being produced in the Mediterranean, particularly in Thrace, northern Greece. The Byzantine emperor obtained a monopoly on silk production in medieval Europe. Nevertheless, the quality of Chinese silk was still far superior to anything produced in the West. The Silk Road spanned approximately 6,437 kilometers across some of the world's most stunning landscapes, including the Gobi Desert and the Pamir Mountains. Lacking a government to assist in maintenance, the roads were typically poor in condition. Thieves were common, attacking in gangs on horseback or ambushing mountain trails and passageways. To protect themselves, merchants would flock together in caravans with pack camels. With time, large inns called caravanserai emerged to house traveling merchants. The Mongol expansion across the Asian continent from around 1207 to 1360 of the Common Era aided in bringing political stability and restored order to the Silk Road. Groups of Mongol warriors patrolled the roads and weeded out bandits, ensuring safe travel for merchants. The Mongol Empire also ended the Islamic Caliphate's hold on world trade. During the same era, the Venetian explorer Marco Polo became one of the first Europeans to travel along the Silk Road to China. Notably, he did not travel by boat, but rather by camel along land routes. Marco Polo reached Shangdu, also known as Zanadu, Mongol Emperor Kublai Khan's lavish summer palace, where he spent 24 years working as a tax collector at the imperial court. His adventures were recorded in his book, titled The Travels of Marco Polo, which helped to open Western eyes to some of the ways of the Far East. Notwithstanding the numerous gains that the Silk Road brought to world trade, it ultimately served as a source of disease proliferation as well. Studies indicate that the Black Death, which devastated Europe beginning in the late 1340s, may have reached Europe from Central Asia along the trade routes of the Mongol Empire. Strong evidence is available that the plague first originated in Marmot in Central Asia and was taken west to the Black Sea by Silk Road traders. A theory maintains that Jiuni's merchants coming from the Trebizond trading posts in northern Turkey brought the disease to Western Europe. While repeatedly surviving many geopolitical changes and disruptions, the Silk Road came to an abrupt end with the rise of the Ottoman Empire in 1453 
which almost instantly cut off trade between East and West. This led European endeavors to seek alternative routes to Eastern riches, inaugurating the Age of Discovery. In June 2014, UNESCO designated the Chang'an Tian Shan Corridor as a World Heritage Site, acknowledging the Silk Road's importance in world history.